coming at you on a Sunday to start this week's video. Didn't end up filming yesterday, though I was working on the van. We got the brakes changed. So two different mechanics after I bought the van told me that my front brakes were shot and I drove 2,000 miles home anyway on them because uh, I didn't want to pay an extra $600. And I didn't have an extra $600 to pay to change the brakes. So I thought I'd do them myself. Before this, I really had no idea how to even go about changing brakes. Luckily, a family friend, Sean Lawler, volunteered his entire Saturday to help me figure this out because I was in way over my head. And we did it all with uh, relatively few complications. So that's kind of a lie. We did run into some uh, hiccups along the way. A set screw had rusted on there, so we had to try to take that out. Some swear words later, but we got it all done. Um, I didn't actually film the brake changing process. I got some clips from my mom that I'll show now, just because I was really trying to focus and learn how everything went together. So without further ado, here are some clips of me and Sean doing the brakes. Sound. <laughs> Today, just have a little bit of follow-up to do. The tires um, were torqued on there so well. They were like 300 foot-pounds. They're supposed to be a 135 foot-pounds, doctor. So I'm gonna fix the rear ones just in case I ever need to change a tire on the road and I don't have all the tools I need to to get 300 foot-pounds of torque removed. So I'm gonna loosen those up and then tighten them correctly and then just gotta get going on a bunch of projects inside, gotta start putting things back in, get the headliner shelf in, go to Home Depot. Let's do it. So none of the torque wrenches I actually have are strong enough to apply enough force to get those wheels off. So instead we have this water pipe and we're just gonna put this on like so. Slide this over and just there you go. But I guess I, I'll do I'll do all six. All right, so now that we have them all loose, we're just gonna take our torque wrench, which is already set to. 135 foot pounds, doctor. Put our socket on there. This is still Sean's tools. Thanks for letting me continue to borrow these. Um, and uh, tighten them up. Got them all done. Moving to the other side. When you're tightening lug nuts, always do a star pattern that will make sure they go on properly. So I ran out of space on the memory card there, but got it all checked up. I think we are in good shape. I think that's a wrap on all mechanical things for now with the van. Stuff might go wrong later, but I am very happy I did these brakes now. I'm not intimidated by the van as much as I was before. I was really worried that things were going to go wrong and they were going to be really expensive, but this, this job, for example, I thought it was going to take forever and be super challenging and have a lot of things that could go wrong really easily. But after watching some, some YouTube videos and having Sean come over and help me, um, it really was not as hard as I was expecting it to be. And I feel good knowing how things work now and that I can fix them in the future. So try doing things yourself so you feel less intimidated by them, honestly. I think that was my takeaway. I feel good. I'm ready to get back into the build and ready to tackle things as they come up. You know, I just remembered, I kind of lied. There's one more mechanical thing got us fixed with the van. One of the rear tail lights, running lights burned out. So got to put a new bulb in there. Should be a pretty easy fix.
So it turns out that nothing is easy. Let me get a prop. These are the two bulbs I have to change. There's actually two, not just one. Um, and the extra bulbs that I bought in um, Springdale, Illinois, honestly, screw you, screw, sorry, that's not, that's not fair, but they sold me the wrong bulbs. They were like $17 for a pack of two. Um, but that auto parts store is not in Bellevue, so I can't return them. Um, but so now I have to go buy the correct ones. Basically, the ones that I bought had like two prongs down here. Um, so they weren't lighting up when I had them in the socket. So I thought the whole van's electrical system was down, but no, really, it's just that they sold me the wrong light bulb. So now I have to go buy new light bulbs. So $17 wasted. I probably should not be upset about this, but I am. Okay, gotta go to the store now. So O'Reilly's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's over there, was a huge success. Got the correct bulbs, I think. Now we're gonna go home and give them a go. Okay, we are back home and we're gonna try to get those dang bulbs in. Crisis averted. It kind of looks bad right now because just the bulbs, but they're both on. So now I can put it all back together. We got it all buttoned up. Wow, I guess it's late, it's a Sunday. The light's off on the dash. I think we're good. Um, I think we might call it a wrap on the weekend with that. If that's a wrap on the weekend though, it's gonna be a busy week. So just you wait, we're gonna get some stuff done. See you later. close call. This is not mine and it's nice. Hey. 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 Ah.